make way for new you talent. Feel the excitement. Buzz is here. This will be the very last time he graces a WWE ring. He retires after this year. I'm for real. He won't be in 2K20. I promise. It's not happening. Making as good as I the look. Ring, crap. Luxie really? Weighing in at 200. Buzz is a man who has pounds, sacrificed everything to be here man. today. Even living in his van at times as, when he was on the Indies. Look, I know I'm not the biggest as good as I look, supporter, but even in I a ring, admit, that's the definition of paying your uh, dues. I'm not coming back next year. Just ain't doing it. A lot of hard work. A lot of tough stuff. Trust me. It, it's not It's not in the cards. from Chicago, Illinois, the maestro of mayhem, the Picasso of pain, the Rembrandt of rage. The Drama King! And you suck! Right here, here! Singles wow. action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. Ouch. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. When I looked at the card oh, for tonight, oh, this one definitely stood out it, as one you don't it, want to miss. What a stop! Oh, good grief! Tag made here. Mother Humper. Uh-oh, this is down with a power bomb. Yeah. You gotta believe this one's over. I bet that hurt. Wait, I gotta see replay. I want to see where this, let's see, you do it like that, okay, so, let's do this in slow motion, he wakes up, oh snap, okay, there it is, See if the knee hits him. Oh snap! The foot hit him. The foot caught him right there in the jaw. That's cool. Oh my. He's mad. Oh. 
Oh! That's just not You know, cool. WWE has become accustomed to seeing unusual pairings find success. But when Aiden English and Rusev first paired up in 2017, I don't think anybody expected the duo to become as much of a force as they became. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. The Aiden English-Rusev pairing may sound odd, but it began paying dividends for the Bulgarian brute right from the beginning. After all, it was English who helped Rusev defeat Randy Orton <laughs> in a mile of mere seconds on SmackDown. You think it's odd? What's so odd about the super athlete becoming friends with a super artiste? Talented people are often friends with other talented people. Not that you would know, Byron. Putting it all on the line. He knows that's going to hurt. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Look at this. All the way. What impact. Gets the shoulder up. Nice kick out. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Do it again. Uh, are you kidding me? Look out. Oh. Oh, it looked look like that hurt. Oh, snap. Molly walk. Too quick for him there. I have a boot. I'm supposed to be able to switch that to activate hold. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the evolution of Aiden English. For a while, it appeared as though he might be pegged as a tag team specialist, but he's since proven that he can also go on his own. Or is it the other way around? No, it's R1, then L1. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Looks like Aiden English is starting to fatigue here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. As Michael alluded to, Aiden English was great as one half of the Vought villains. The duo even captured the NXT oh. tag team titles. But English has proven that there's more to him than just tag teams. Oh, you're right, Byron. He's since become WWE's greatest singer and more brought Rusev to great heights as his manager. Like a true artiste, English has evolved with the times. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Oof. I'm not sure how much he has left. This singles contest has a victor. Oh, snap. That looked like that hurt. idea why John Cena's here tonight because he has an issue with Aiden English's singing Cena might not be a fan of the drama king but my guess is it has more to do yeah my now life's hottest superstar charged. Buzz if y'all look at the bottom of the screen my logo's there and if you'll click that logo, it'll carry you directly to my page. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. 
You got to see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You got to see this guy who won the U.S. title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. You got to see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Now, most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while, and so many times I've heard all the buzz, and then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? come across as arrogant but i believe i measure up to every bit of the hype no that's good you should be confident in yourself but i also understand it's one of those need to experience it firsthand to believe it sort of things so if you truly want to find out if i measure up how about you and me go one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam? after that all your questions will be answered. Let's do it. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded. Oh, correct. You had your no, daddy's help. Get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. Oh snap, what's K-Man gonna do? Look, I can give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one let me reason break out my why baseball you're not bat. facing Beat Cena. Some respect into you. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting. Not Cena versus Orton, part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the U.S. title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me, right now! Yeah! What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. 
That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Okay. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Let's do it. Or do you want another handout? I don't think he is. All right. To prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an R-K-O. Are you like for real? No, seriously. This man's kidding, right? All Bush is proving tonight is that he loves taking stupid risks. And this one's gonna cost him his match with Cena at SummerSlam. That's only if Orton can defeat him. But what does he have to gain? I think it's a matter of pride. But, well, there's a fine line between pride and stupidity, and he's crossed it. Molly, what? what a stomp! Good grief! Help me, old powerful Vince McMahon! I'm screwed. Man, what a slam! I need a break. Moron! Byron, he looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. Buster. That was all sorts of nasty. Yeah. Oh, snap. It's over. No! Oh, oh. Uh, Here's a cover reel. And kicks out at two. The hell Not off me. Yet. But me on the mark. I can't get it to change. Oh, a close line. Not done yet. Another one. Thinking about some tag power bomb for someone to survive a battle against Randy Orton, two things are critical. One, do not fall victim to the Viper's mind games, he's a master in psychological warfare. And number two, stay away from the RKO. Raw power in play. The Apex Predator is so dangerous in so many ways that oh. we said earlier, Corey, is more Good than exactly accurate. Randy Orton can to. slither his way into an opponent's mind and then end it all with one RKO. Randy Orton does unbelievable things when he hears the voices in his head. The Viper's opponents must try to escape the psychological really? torture and at all costs stay far away. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Oh, what impact. I knew it was only a matter of time. He's playing with him now. Power bomb time. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. <laughs> What's Triple H doing here? This could get ugly serious? real fast, guys. We're about to have a new man. Wait a minute. AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money, Corey. Oh, those people are. Uh -uh. Suplex City! 
He goes for the cover. Oh, sword arm shot. I know it. Till everything goes. Whoa, a clothesline! Not done yet. Another one! I want the change! What a stop! Good grief! Ooh, what impact! I want to power up. This might be it. Oh, my. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, an elbow drop. He goes down hard. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this mm. point, Cole. Look at this. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Going all the way up. What a dive! Oh, he scoot slam! This is it. It's over, people. Impact. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you. His shoulders are down. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Let's take another look at these guys in action. <coughs> and last but not least, there was this. Here is your winner, Caveman. A very decisive victory here tonight. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts. I'm surprised you did. John I Cena. I if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, no matter what obstacles are put in front of me. I never I don't know who that up. is, but that's not mm. John Cena. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm going to make you tap. Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? 
No, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Okay, let's be frank. Um, I hate submission matches on here. It's it's hard. I don't like submission matches. I've never liked them. I think I'm going to keep that for a while. Oh crap guys.
Sorry about that, guys. My dad called. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm gonna beat Cena in this submission match. I mean... I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh, stand up. I'll show it to you. Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway. No, I'm going to screw up. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway. I'm not gonna lie, the first time was hard. That music can mean only one thing it's buzz! This is an amazing opportunity for Buzz. Just look at what a victory over Cena did for Kevin Owens when he first arrived in WWE. Mm. He went on to become Universal Champion. I agree, if Buzz was able to defeat Cena tonight, it could catapult him to a whole other level. None of that matters, because I heard Buzz was begging people backstage to teach him submission holds. That sounds more like a man who's going to catapult right into a brick wall. What a stop! Good grief! Kick to the... Dominating shoulder tackle. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Diving splash from the top. Incredible impact. Oh, nasty impact.
Snapmare takeover. Nice drop. Oh, nasty. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, oh. Cole. He's still... Calf crusher. Now buzz out Cena and the calf crusher. Cena counters it into the STF. What is Triple H doing? Oh, boy, we've seen this before. Yeah, this has Montreal screw job written all over it. He's going to call for the bell. AJ Styles stopped Triple H from costing Buzz the match. What's this? Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. He's going for it all. quite like him. Hopefully John Cena can recover. Oh no, we know what this is. Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He did it, Buzz has made John Cena give up to the calf crusher. I never thought I'd see that happen. Unbelievable. For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong in this spot, he proved tonight. Kurt Angle, now we've seen it all tonight. Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. Somebody's joining me. Woo! Look at the people. Okay, y'all can read that right. Okay, good. Y'all got that one? That's good. Okay. Here's the AJ Styles. Okay. There's Charlotte Flair. I've always wanted to do that. I 
I am on Monday Night Raw. The next night. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. That sounds really freaky. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please. Turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate The Miz on making it to 100 episodes. Well, I doubt it. I want to jump the Miz. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? This. Answer me, damn it! Bam! There's your answer! Molly Wild! Mr. Oz, jumping me! In on the fight. It's three on one! Finale. Plus, his big debut on Raw certainly didn't go as planned. Ladies Welcome and gentlemen, to another edition of TV's oh longest running yes. weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight Who wants to walk with Elias? Not me. Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. 
And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I never thought... Hold on, one of my videos didn't upload. Sorry about that. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about. Last time I've done that, so this time we're going to challenge the me. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for We Want Earplugs. You talk a good game, but can you back it up? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently The Miz is too much of a coward to face me, how about you and I go one-on-one -on -one right here tonight? Buzz must really want to get beat up sure two weeks in a row. Guy. I don't know about that, but we're going to have Buzz versus Elias right now. Making his way to the ring. By the way, Luxie, that shirt is available on my shop. And CoolerShop.com. Please, if you would like to purchase this t-shirt, he wants to have go a career to my website. that one day is recognized with a spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. It's way too premature to start that discussion, but his career is Whoa, definitely trending in the right direction. 2,331 views. Thank you so much. Y'all guys are just awesome. Am I streaming now?
doing some work on my computer while the entrances is going on. So. Byron, I'm not going to ask you this question because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. He really wants to become Intercontinental Champion. This isn't the best strategy. A match like this could put him on the shelf for weeks. Bobby Lock. He could win and impress Kurt Angle so much that he gives him a shot at Miz's title. I'm just saying, it, it has the potential to go both ways. Ooh. That is not cool. I need a break. Inside the ring now. Oh, oh snap. Kick to the... I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. <coughs> oh, what a splash! Elias getting put in check here. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Dead damn it. Really? <laughs> I can do that too. Down they go. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Fair! When this guy's on, look out. Hip attack. Elias got rocked there. He's looking at it. Oh, Buster! Watch close, Miz. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. What? This thing is getting more chaotic by the moment. Uh-oh. The Miz gives Elias his guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. gains control of it. Bam. And he nails him with the guitar. That'll do it. Wake up. Here's the cover. Does he have him here? There's one. one. Two. Two. There's two. Three. Three. He got him. What an incredible victory! Buzz somehow overcomes the odds. Somehow, he cheated. Cheated? Cheat.
Next week. Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. Whoa, like. Don't think I haven't noticed the impact you've made on Raw already. In fact, if you can beat Bo Dallas tonight, I don't care what Miz says. You've earned a shot at his Intercontinental title. And speaking of looking out for you, if Miz attacks you during the match, you'll still get your title shot. Wait, who says I'm not a good GM? I'm going to get ready for my match now. Uh, nobody. Forget him all about it. It's all good, Kurt. Boo hoo, Keep Elias. An eye for a receipt coming your way. For what? For the broken guitar. If you get my drift. Uh, next time I'll break it over your head. How's that? Ooh, Sasha Banks. Come get a date I with really the caveman. I really hope you win tonight and get your title match with the Miz. I'm so sick of him and Maurice running their mouths. Uh, maybe I'll be the first one to shut him up. You'll be the first active superstar to be inducted into the WB Hall of Fame if you can pull that off. I better start working on my speech, then. Uh, see, to the thousands of people. No, nah, that wouldn't work. That's Triple H's stick. That's not mine. So with these <laughs> jerk wads. Even doing. if somehow you get past me tonight, you don't have what it takes to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to actually have visited another continent to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> We're A-listers. We visit different continents just to go to movie premiere or the hottest new club. Okay. Uh, yeah. Florida's not a continent, right? No, I don't think so. But it's surrounded by water. I thought that's what made something a continent. No, you're thinking of a, an isthmus. Hey, you know what? It's none of your business what continents we visited. All I care about is embarrassing you tonight. Okay. You do that. You do that. <coughs> you, you do that. You, you, you do that. Superstar known as Buzz is here.
and his opponent, accompanied by The Miz. To reiterate what's at stake here, if Buzz can defeat Bo Dallas, he'll earn a shot at Miz's Intercontinental Championship. And keep in mind, per Kurt Angle's decision, oh, if the Miz interferes on Bo's behalf, Buzz will still get his title shot. Why doesn't Angle just hand Buzz the Intercontinental title? I mean, he's giving him every possible advantage. I believe the goal is to make sure it's a fair match without involvement from the Miz. Well, after this match, you and Buzz might be bowling. Oh, I dropped the leg like Hogan. Drop the knee like me. Hello, welcome to the live stream. We are playing 2K19. The last ride for the caveman. What's up, old dog? I'm getting my keister kicked. Get up! Come. What a stomp! Good grief! I'm gonna kill him. Bo Dallas caught a little off guard there. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This match oh. is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. That one fails to oh. connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Suplex. Things are starting to heat up out here. Are you what serious? Could they possibly be arguing over. Oh, brutal. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Bo Dallas is starting to tire a bit. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Oh, yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is yeah. a little surprising to me. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Close line. He's starting to stumble here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one act. This might be it. Cover. One. Hooks two. two leg. Kicked out at oh, two and man. a half. I thought he had him. Wait, what's Miz doing? What the heck? Why would Miz punch Bo Dallas? Wait a minute. The Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get an Intercontinental title shot. The Miz found a way around Kurt Angle's stipulation. By the way, I've got a guess you have to give cool video of me redoing Stone Cold Steve Austin's title. So please check Tough that night for too. Bo Dallas. He'll be fine. And besides, he won the match. I'd hardly call that a victory.
yet again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you gonna do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face The Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can't. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. Hey, Cole. I need a favor. It's short notice, but you did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in... Oh, snap. I like the no DQs. Thanks, man. You're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. Ugh. I can't believe what happened in your match with Bo Dallas. Somehow The Miz continues to find new ways to be the most annoying person on the planet. I know. Hey! Actually, I have a favor to ask. I'm debuting something big next week. And I was thinking it would be a good chance to have a little fun something of the a-list you're offering me a chance to make miss and maurice look like even bigger idiots yeah i'm in yeah it must really suck to think that isn't the end you a-listed Jackass. Triple H has spoken. Thanks to me, you lost the match and your title shot. Are they bringing back the Divas title? Maybe not. Design title. Oh snap! We're fixing to create one. Uh. I need Wait, I'm not ready. Uh Screw it. Let's do the TV title. I think I've done this one time in the created championships. Now remember, I do not know what I'm doing. This is this is all new to me.
Oh, I just got a cool idea. A change of plans. Lufus Brain and Numb Nuts won't give me an intercontinental title. I'll make my own. Much thanks to the one that created this plate. Let's do the strap first. Let's do it in my YouTube t shirt color. I see it. That's the color. Okay, so now we're going to do it like this. Now remember, wait, that's not, that's better. I started to say this is a one shot deal, so you need to get it right. First time. my intercontinental title and in my title we don't follow rules so we don't do what everybody else wants to do
I do what I feel like doing. What is that? feel like doing this. To me this looks better. At least I think. proving a point to some people. Don't always do what everybody else does. Do your own thing. That's why it's custom championships. You do your own stuff. The story continues. Don't be afraid to be different in life, whether it's a game or in real life. So many people want to be the same. Such create your own intercontinental title. There it is.
See, I didn't fast forward through that part. I let y'all see it, because I'm a nice guy. And you're welcome. And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird Matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Character Sasha assassination. And I were just having a little bit of fun out That's here. That's what he calls it. I need it. to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part. Other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. Oh snap, I have an intercontinental title. In your face, Miz. Mine looks better. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H back to your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback. Made up. Guitar. How dare you. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special <laughs> conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? <laughs> Not exactly. My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches. <laughs> oh yeah, it's on. It's on.
following contest is a no disqualifications match. And it's Wait. for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The crowd is buzzing with excitement. Buzz is here. Hear that? It's the sound of the new Intercontinental Champion. Snap. I look good. It's Intercontinental Champion. Mine looks so much better. Quick, if WWE's watching this, make this Watch title reality. Make this the Intercontinental title. Every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. It looks right, classy. It looks two birds, one stone. Upwards. Hey. By the way, the caveman's been cruiserweight champion. He's been tag champion. He's been Raw, SmackDown. He's been Universal. He's been WWE, United States, Intercontinental, TNA, Lucha Underground. What else? He's been he's been champion. He's held every title WWE ever had. He's been million dollar champion. He's been million dollar tag champions. He's been money in the bank winner five times. He's won King of the Ring seven times. And he's the WWE Hall of Famer. He's had a luxurious career. He's had a you know really WWE stands for, good right? oh, career. We want earplugs. Walk with Elias. But he's unlike some other losers, Chris Danger you deny what this man is all that about. refuse to leave. In the ring, bell to bell, absolutely. I've got all the respect in the world for what Elias is capable of. When... I've decided to retire mine. This year. Yes. Oh, snap. Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds. Introducing the champion from Biloxi, Mississippi, weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Caveman. Stay right where you are, people.
I can't yeah. believe Buzz just sprung this title match stipulation. I'll let y'all guys want to see the cave man next year. If you do, nice you got Buzz you got to bring some lights for a change. I agree. We're so accustomed to seeing Buzz at a disadvantage. Finally tonight, he gets a match on his turn. I thought broadcast journalists weren't supposed to be biased, but I guess I was wrong. Tag made here. Power bomb. Uh oh, this is power bomb. Need a are you serious again with this crap? Ah, uh, fireman's carry. Oh, nasty fall. The champ to the top turnbuckle. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Oh, snap. Damn it. I can't go into the... Yeah, I can. Walking around the city earlier today. Guys, Molly Walk. The only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went. From Molly the Walk. The shop to the bookstore. Molly Walk. was talking about this match. Oh, Molly there's Walk. no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. I hear a lot more. similar experience as you this morning nearly every person at the gym i went to was talking about this title match and rightfully so this is an absolutely huge match okay wait, oh, wait. let me no, get this straight not the byron spent chair. the morning at the bookstore while you cole went to the gym man that's brilliant you guys have any other jokes boom what impact Uh, so do things that he to is. Heat up out Damn it! What could they possibly be arguing over? Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. I need a break. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. <laughs> oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think into the quick cover. And the champ kicks out. Not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Kick to the... What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Beautiful technique. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. He's making a statement here with oh. this attack. Whoa! Oh. Oh, that hurt me. It's a big fight feel here in this arena. The WWE Universe. He's going for the pin. And the champ kicks out too soon. The tension, the drama. This is electric. Give me the damn chair. 
Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Got a schoolboy. Buzz into the cover. Oh, and an ear fall. How'd he do that? Oh, Elias able to avoid damage. My knee. Dominating shoulder tackle. A big fight feel. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Championship on the line. Nailed it. One. There's the kick out. Too early for that. Mm. Whew, that's close. has been the site of some of the biggest matches on sports entertainment history, and this match is sure not to disappoint. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. A spinning sit-out powerbomb. What a title defense. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Look at him. I'm not gonna lie, that was close. Remember this? Man, oh man, look at that. And finally. Singles win here, guys. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an... That was really, really close. Moments later. Man, oh man, look at that. And finally, you showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate match. We're done playing make-believe because I'm going to show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz has his match with The Miz, so what's Kurt Angle doing out here? I'm glad you two are finally going to face off one-on-one. -on -one. That's right. Maurice, Elias, and the Mistraj will be banned for ringside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held under his title stipulations. Which means it will be a no DQ match. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, yeah. Baby. Ooh, he said the dirty word. That's the reason why they bleeped him out. The Indian Vader is 
here. It's Buzz. Oh, yeah. Caveman looks good on his last he ride. He the champion from Biloxi, Mississippi. What a way to go out with his own oh, YouTube logo. Yeah. Yeah. He told me no matter how much success he has, WWE he still gets nervous to compete in front of this many champion. people. Coming from BCW, Caveman. he should be used to big crowds. I heard that one event almost drew more fans than a JV girls volleyball playoff match. which you can purchase at CoolieShop.com. Oh snap, there's two Intercontinental titles. Molly, what time? This title and the Intercontinental title are on the line tonight in a no DQ match at WWE Hell in a Cell. Buzz has everything to gain and nothing to lose. His made up title is Molly, absolutely what? meaningless. If that's true, then why did Miz issue the challenge? Because like most of us, he was tired Molly of Buzz's Buzz. antics and Molly thought Buzz. would shut him up for once and for all. Little did he know that thanks to Molly a wonderful Buzz. GM, he'd have to compete Molly with Buzz. Buzz's ridiculous rules. Well, none of this would have happened if Miz hadn't weaseled his way out of an intercontinental title defense. Nonetheless, that's all history, and certainly more history will be made tonight. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just falls into tonight with too much momentum. Molly <laughs> Nailed it. The Miz definitely in a tough spot now. You have to wonder Molly if he could recover from this guy. Molly I've never count this guy out, Molly but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen Molly champs what? get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again here tonight? Molly Agreed. What? I don't think anybody Molly expected what? Eddie Guerrero to defeat Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship back in 2004, but hey, it happened, and it's further proof that any Put superstar can blade. beat any other oh, superstar on any on, given break it. night. Come on, that's break. the impact. When this break guy's it. on, break it, break it, break it, break it. come on, come on, break the lead. Harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh. Moron. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Ooh, what Hold on. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh. Vicious attack. Moron. Are you serious? It's over, Miz. Give it up. Here he goes. It's mine. And a spinning sit out power bomb. The champion retains. The champion retains. 
These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Kick me in the gold And head. last but not least. Showed him. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title. Oh, and for lack of a better they term, did. Need to sign that button. Yeah, stuck bottom. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit I heavier. Yeah, I think he will title. This match would be under protest. Hey, I'm champion. It's never taken place yeah. under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened. It's the error of WWE. Me. Intercontinental champion. You're welcome. I win. You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. If you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. Hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory. But according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? Ah! This ain't cool! You know what? Screw it. This is a new era, new WWE, new Intercontinental title. That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. Molly Wap time! Hey, I need to make a t shirt. Hashtag Molly Wap. Hey, Intercontinental Champion! That was quite a win you had over The Miz. Yeah, I know we still haven't talked, but I wanted you to know I've continued to watch you every week. And I'm not going to stop. No matter what happened between us, you'll always be my protege. Oh, uh, I don't know if you heard, but I had to close the doors on BCW. Attendance took a big hit without you and Cole, and I guess some people didn't want to work with me anymore. Apparently... Controversy doesn't always create cash. And I'm not telling you this for sympathy or anything like that. Just thought you might want to know. Anyway, congrats again. Hopefully we can talk soon. That was nice. Boss, you're Intercontinental Champion. Do you know how cool that is? I mean, Bret freaking Hart was Intercontinental Champion. The Ultimate Warrior. Shawn Michaels. Now you. And none of them held the title I designed for you at the same time. Well, I mean, to be fair, it didn't exist then, but, but still, you get my point. What you've accomplished it. Uh, oh, man. I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited for you. It's unbelievable. I mean, I, I wrestled you in bingo halls in front of 20 people for 15 bucks and a hot dog. And, and now we're here. I, I'm sorry. I'm just cutting onions right now, and listen, I, I, I'm sure you're out celebrating, but I'm between Japanese tours right now, so, so hit me back up when you get a chance, okay? I, I just, I miss you, man. All right. Bye.
Oh, that's nice. Poor guy has a heart after all. Alright, all this is done, so say you move up to the next ranks. Sixty five. Hey champ, just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight, and it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted you? He never responds to my text, because he says he's not really a texter. Huh, that's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Uh, sure, I guess. Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. That's a keeper. I'll text you the pick. Uh, thanks. Actually, no, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. <gasps> Which, we all know that's not gonna happen.
Earlier today, I noticed Buzz backstage checking out some vintage Bret Hart matches on the WWE Network. He's apparently a big admirer of the Hitman. Oh, Buzz has good taste. Oh, uh, that's not true. In ring ability, of there H. weren't too many better than the excellence of execution. Michael Cole get his information from. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. Okay. Introducing the champion Thank from Biloxi, Mississippi, weighing in at 241 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Caveman. Don't even think about going anywhere. What do you guys think of Buzz's decision to keep his custom title rather than the Intercontinental title? It was... Since this title's already uploaded to YouTube, I don't need to have it on too. Unbelievably stupid. Do you want a prestigious title held by guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels? Or do you want a self-awarded, made-up title with no history? For some reason that I'll never understand, Buzz chose the latter. I wish he could have kept both titles, but I respect Kurt Angle's decision at least Buzz will always have the Intercontinental title as a keepsake. You wanted it? You got it. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Beautiful technique. Uh, Intercontinental Whack. open challenge. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. You know what time it is? That's right. It's... Hollywood. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some... He's got the shoulders down. And an easy kick out. How in the world? Axe Handle finds the mark. Oh, a clothesline! Not done yet. Another one! But you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time. And so far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael, which is saying something, considering fans' expectations heading into tonight. I can tell you that they saw oh, this as a potential match of the good. year oh, candidate. Right there. And so far, I think it's delivered. Oh. crazy but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog i know it sounds odd but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here this might be it oh my what could jason jordan do now to get the ball rolling again and you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain oh, at this point jason jordan just too fast for him you're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. Oh, what impact! 
Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being talked about. Oh, I'll break his head. Harsh impact. The challenger in some big trouble here. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. I'm not sure he has much left. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, it definitely hasn't been working. Believe. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have Come on, bleed to already. Your chest out a little bit. And Jason oh, snap. Jordan reverses Knuckles. it. Knuckles. Jason Jordan just mm. too fast for him. Look at Jason Jordan. It's coming. There's the pin. The and the champ kicks Get off out. me. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. What a stop. Good grief. Here's the pin title on the line. Go. And the champ kicks out. Yeah, he's not done yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. field inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match and so far I'd say these competitors have brought their A games beautiful technique oh a short arm shot you're absolutely right Michael this arena is electric right now this could be it Okay. Oh, what impact! Jason Ooh. Jordan just too fast for him. Jason mm. Jordan just too fast for him. He's looking at it. The champ retains. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. He ain't messing around. Man, this was great. He ain't playing here. He really put on a great show. You think Jason Jordan still wants to take a selfie with Buzz now? Real classy, Byron. What the heck? Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well, I am that predator. For I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed underground, my friend. Because now I am coming for you. <laughs> this has the potential to be a very bad situation for Buzz. <laughs> that can't be good. Hey, 
and I'm going to cut it off for you guys. So thank you so much for joining me. Remember, be happy, be merry, be silly, and gamers, best in the world at what we do. Until next time. Later.